Hey, good morning, everyone. Riley Foster, Foster's Custom Steel. It's November the 8th. My wife and I made a trip up to the mountain house, and they're working on the church building that we purchased. Thank goodness. I was so glad to see that. But uh, right now, this is the front of my dad's old workshop. I'm going to go in and kind of do a little review on it, let you show you just what we, well, we kind of inherited when we bought the place. I'll do a walk through this right quick and then my mother's little sewing shop. Now, when I was a kid, my dad worked all of his life as a coal miner. So when he got to where he could retire, he came down here and he piddled for the rest of his life. And I was so glad he could do that. They built this, I want to say in the 50s. It was built well before I was born and I don't remember it. Just like the bathrooms or the plumbing in the house. I always remember the plumbing in the house and my siblings told me, hey, they did use an outhouse many years ago. So this this building, um, it's old and it wasn't, my dad built it with what he had to work with. I mean, there's the rafters are scabbed together and, and they're solid, full two by four rafters and I think they're 24 inches on center is what they look like nowadays of course code 16 but back then it was if you could put a roof on it and it wouldn't fall in it was code I guess but I think this is I can about step it off I think it's like a 12 by 24 maybe maybe bigger so there's six foot 12 foot no this may be 18 looks like about 18 by 36 which is, you know what, that's a nice building. It has its problems. I'm going to try very hard to salvage it. One of its biggest problems is it's six foot below grade. Yeah, I mean, my brother put this wall back many a time, and they put a foundation to hold it because it kept falling in. I would love to hire a company in the future, not right now, but hire a company to lift this thing up road level and block it up. I'm going to go ahead and get the power out for right now. But yeah, it does have electricity to it. And he used this thing, coal heat, of course. And they burnt wood and coal. That's where the old wood stove was. But he come in here and he was in heaven, just like I am in my shop. I could not live without my shop. And Lord, please don't ever ask me to go back to work for somebody else. I would not be a good person. So this is where my dad worked until... Well, until he died, he loved to come down here and piddle and play. And my brother Randy took over and, and kept it up. And uh, him and Carla lived here with my mother until she passed away. So that's my dad's old workshop inside. And you can see, I mean, it's not leaking. We can get a couple more years out of the roof before I have to do anything. But I sure would like to raise it up. So we'll walk over here. And take a look in here. Yeah, so now we're at mom's place. Again, my dad used this to pull his lawnmower up in here. And then my mother had this. And as you can see, it needs to be cleaned out. The power's off. They run the power from my dad's shop over here. And I just got the breaker popped. But they were supposed to. And it looks like they did clean some out. But this was a crafts. They did all kinds of um, really neat looking things. I mean, I, I couldn't do that. <laughs> no, I don't want to, but it did pretty good. It looked like my oldest brother Jim there for a while. But anyway, this is, she came down here and she made beautiful quilts. She made me a quilt I'll cherish till the day I die. I teased her, she kept trying to make me a throw to, you know, put over your legs when you're watching TV or whatever. She kept making it three by five. And I said, Mama, I want one bigger. So she finally made me one that was five foot by seven foot. And that was it. You can cover up your shoulders and your feet. So she enjoyed doing this. And that's the other side there where the breaker is, our breaker box. So this one has electric to it also. We'll go ahead and lock this door. And uh, there we go. Head on out. All right, that's locked up. Again, there's the wall. I've got to repair a big drain system got stopped up above the house. 
and flooded. And I'm going to tell you, when I see there was a lot of water come off of there, that's a rock. That is the definition of a rock. My brother and my dad put that up there by hand. And I've got to have a overhead hoist to do it. Uh, <laughs> ain't no way. So we've been steadily getting the home place ready to rent. I've got the new deck on it. You've seen a lot of the videos I've done. I'm going to have to take some pictures for the insurance company today so they can get it insured for people to rent it and protect us and the people. So uh, that's on the to-do list. And I'll go up above and take pictures or a video of the church that they're working on, the church building. This is down below the house. We bought these lots. There's one little lot right here in the middle that's a 40 by 100. I think we're going to try to get it so we can have an entranceway cut right through there to make a parking lot for the uh, for the building. Yeah, so that's the roof they're working on the other side, which was the worst. I was like six layers of shingles on that thing, and it was decrepit and falling through, but I've been checking on it. looks like he's doing a pretty good job. I'll, I'll have to go around the other side and show you that. I'm going to pan around here. That's the deck we put on last year. It sure has helped out getting in and out of the house, and it's level walking from porch to porch the jigsaw puzzle aluminum pieces i put in here are working they they're covered up the gaps of that that uh, treated pine so they're working really good which is a real plus yeah so this would be a really nice place really good view of the mountains off the deck hey guys remember this is the mountain house side of my YouTube videos. Reach down there and give me a like and a share and a comment. Hey, rent a place, come on up and enjoy. How about that for a view? I have discovered something. Whew. I'm a flatlander. Walking up this hill right here. Whew. That's exercise on the thighs and the calves. That's the... Uh, church from up on the hill there we go I'm hoping they get that side sheathed and put the metal roof on well I hope today or this weekend I don't know what kind of weather they're supposed to have up here it's cloudy, but I don't think it's supposed to rain. But at least they're working on it, so they'll get it dried in, and I can start doing work, getting it cleaned out. And I walk on down through here. So yeah, what a what a beautiful view! And it's so quiet up here. Man, look way back in there. It is so quiet up here. Every now and then you hear a car up on the highway. So I'm going to go. You guys always give thanks and have a great day.